Flight me trains in. Right, it's 8.36 in the morning and I'm on my fourth platform now already. <laughs> uh, another adventure. Just waiting for the last train of the day to take me to the final destination of Newcastle where then I'll be walking from the train station to Wall's End to meet Mike and Mark and we're starting the Hadrian's Wall Path. train station. We just uh, got off the train. Now we're going to head to the start of the trek. Let the adventure begin. Hello and welcome to Segadunum. Joined by uh, Mike, Ginger out and about. We're about to hit the trail. I think Mike's just done his little filming. So yeah, time to touch the sign. Come on, touch the sign with me, brother. <laughs> My hands on. Hands on. The first, uh, yeah, the first marker. I've obviously, I've already walked from the train station back this way once, which I, I wouldn't have done if I'd have realized it was four miles. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have done what Mike did and got the metro here, which is like a really clever idea. But hey, it is what it is. I've already done it. Awesome. Probably get hands on that as well. Yeah, that's a definite. <laughs> that's a good piece. That's of a nicer thing. one. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, Hadrian's Wall Path. We are going from Segad Segadunum to uh, Bonus on Solway. I think traditionally, perhaps you'd go the opposite direction. But this, for transportation wise, this has worked out better for us. So let's uh, hit the trail. So we're just passing through the great uh, Newcastle Seven Bridges area. I haven't really researched them that much, to be honest, so I probably should have done, but uh, yeah, everyone keeps mentioning these bridges. Even someone on the train down was saying, oh, you can see all the bridges from here. <laughs> but yeah, just been past the Millennium Bridge, which you can see behind me. This next one, look, the Great North Run. Yeah, this actually, I believe, has a replica in uh, Australia and Sydney only from that one you can see the, the opera house in the background yeah that's about the only bit of knowledge I have on these bridges <laughs> bridge quite a modern looking concrete bridge really I guess that's the newest one I'd assume and that's it I think this day one isn't going to be too much on here I think I can see already that it's going to be a day one and two video because we're literally just walking through a city and it's not the nicest thing to be filming these bridges might be the only real points of interest really We'll see how it goes. We've got at least another 10 miles to do, probably more, 12. Oh, 
we'll, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. That's a little tame one, isn't it? I'm going to hazard a guess and say we're roughly seven to eight miles in now and we're still in city land, council estates, industrial estates, uh, gas works, you name it. Scrant vans, look, but are closed. <laughs> Uh, yeah, not a great deal to show you to be honest. I'd say we've got then about 15 k I reckon to this campsite. Yeah, I reckon up to 10 miles at the most. No more than that anyway. I think we worked it out roughly at 15 to 17. We must be easily half of that way I reckon. So yeah, we're going is good. The weather is glorious. A bit too glorious if I'm honest. I'm red up, sweating. <laughs> I was expecting rain, so I shouldn't complain really, so long may this last. Well, I don't think I mentioned earlier, but to the Mark's come in, and he was a little bit behind us, and here he is. A little bit. Run, running to catch us up. Fair play. Oh, yeah, he's done well. Hey, here he comes. Hey, Go on, nice run in, you're looking strong. Only another 70 miles to go. Fair play, Mark. Fair play. Good arrows. Don't stop now. <laughs> Hi. He's been some already. <laughs> well, the trail is starting to green up a little bit now. We're back alongside the river. But yeah, we've got trees, forests on the hillsides now. Fantastic. Well, we're just walking through uh, Hedden on the wall now. Got some good elevation here, actually. First proper hill, I'd say, to get up here. And uh, Mike has sniffed out a pub. There's no con no control in him. <laughs> yeah, he's like a he's like a greyhound on it comes to pubs. A pointer. And his nose to the ground and beer. One. I think we're on 15, 16 miles, so we're definitely ready for a pint, lads, aren't we? Three rain rights, please. Three rain rights. Day one. So we've just left the swan now. But we was a bit unimpressed with the pint there. It was a bit, to say it was a bit flat could possibly be understatement of the year. But there is another pub. Yeah, the three, the three tons. So we're going to go in here for one more. And then I think after here, one more pint, and then we're roughly two and a half miles to the campsite. I'm having the pail. Second pint gone, and we're just on his way to the campsite now. I reckon two and a half miles. Got a couple of beers, one in each pocket. So we've all got a couple of beers each. We'll have them at the campsite once they've set up. 
I reckon another, maybe another hour at the max to get to where we're going. So it's up for the night. Happy days. Well, slightly earlier than build. <laughs> It said 10 o'clock for for rain, but it's already kind of started. Just a few light spots, so I've just stopped while the lads are carried on. Put my waterproof on, pack cover on, because I have got my uh, fleece layer in the mesh pocket. And I don't really obviously want to get that wet, so pack cover on, waterproof on. I've left me the uh, waterproof trousers off for now because it's not really fast enough to warrant them but yeah I don't want to get completely soaked so still probably got two miles so we'll see how we get on while I catch the lads up here we are pitch on the wall on the wall yeah on the wall so we think it's into the next field but I just walked past the sign and thought, you know what, I need to film it. <laughs> so I just walked back to recapture the footage and obviously Mark doesn't make videos, so he's carried on, which is fair play, why not? Why add miles to an already long enough trip? <laughs> yeah, nice. I say muddy, which is nice because we've done so much tarmac today. This is actually epic mud and softness. These Lone Peaks are awesome trail shoes, but they're definitely not the best for road miles. If you're walking roads, you need road shoes, and that's no joke. These haven't got the cushion for heavy tarmac. We must have done nearly 20 miles now. I have done over 20, because I did them extra four from the bloody train station to uh, Sega Deenum, Sega Deenum, I forgot already. Roman fort <laughs> and then I've come back the same way again so 51,000 steps on my watch and when I did the limestone way 55,000 and summit was 25 26 miles so I think I've done 24 miles so here we are basic as Porter Luz and just a big big field some kind of Z-Pax tent going on here. Well, all set up. My Terra Nova laser comp. Mike's in some Van Gogh F10, is it? Van Gogh Helium F10. Yeah. You well? One. One. You well one. And Mark's got, I don't know what that is. It's a Nature Height Targa 2. Targa 2. Nice one. I think we've all got some food on the go. Mark's pot noodle, Mark's sorting his, and I've got my water boiling. I'm gonna have this uh, fire pot tonight because these are the ones that take the longest. I'm gonna get this one, get the awkward one out of the way first. Spicy pork noodles, they take about 15 minutes, these bloody fire pots do. Let's see what this one's like. Then we've got a couple of, couple of beers for for dessert. <laughs> Food ready. Mm. Yeah, that's not too bad. Quite spicy as well. The rain has come back now, which as Mike's just said, it kind of screws up the social side of things because now we've all retreated <laughs> into our own shelters but yeah don't stop the fun at least we got set up before the rain started coming anyway which is like the main thing really yeah big time keep all your gear dry just means packing away wet stuff i suppose <laughs> 